This is Clifton Cassius for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We had the Burj Al Arab here in Dubai for the launch of Combat Chain. I'm joined by Mr. Lyndon Arthur. All right, mate? I'm good, I'm good. How are you? How's Dubai? Dubai's all right. How's Dubai been for you? Quiet. Yeah? Uh, you like them low-key trips, don't you? Yeah, low-key, quiet yeah. ones. Uh, slip in, slip out. Slip in and, um, and see you later. So today was the launch here of Combat Chain. It was quite a lot of information given to us. I'm sure everybody's still got questions, but um, there seems to be, for fighters like yourself and other people who will get involved in this and kind of look into it more, anything like this that benefits boxers can only be a good thing. Yeah, one million percent. I, I, I was listening a lot, like every, every one of the year was, trying to understand it a little bit more. Don't really understand it too much, but anything that's going to come along and help boxers and, and, and benefit us as being in the sport is obviously a great thing. A couple of, I think it was Richard Schaefer or was it um, Callis Allen, one of them said when it's something new everyone's like the internet come around like 20 odd years ago and everyone's like what is this thing so sometimes it is about just opening your eyes and, and letting it. I don't know anything about uh, cryptocurrency myself, I don't know if you do but um, that's something that I hear about all the time, but I know nothing about. So I suppose it's just opening your eyes and learning about stuff. That's what I'm saying. When crypto first came out, you, you were skeptical about it. Everyone's like, no, don't really get into it. Now it's kind of took over the world a little bit. It's all everyone's talking about, and got people like Elon Musk and stuff involved in it. And it's obviously now a huge, massive thing, and I'm guessing it's probably going to go the same way. Um, we know you did a, an interview, obviously, recently. Um, after uh, a couple of weeks ago with, with Umar. So, yeah, where are you kind of headspace at the moment? It's not been too long since that night. So where are you in your head? I'm in Dubai. That's <laughs> where I am in Dubai, I'm chilling. Now, nah, I'm obviously I'm out here and get back, have Christmas and then get back in the gym and crack on. And, and it, like I said on the interview, it is what it is. I can't dwell on it. Obviously, I'm gutted. Um, but I'm 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 a, I'm a bounce back and, and that's that's just it. Hopefully we'll get a third fight somewhere. It's one one and that's what everyone has to understand. He beat me and I beat him. Granted he beat me probably better than I beat him, but I box and he 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 his things knockouts kind of thing. So he's you know, he stopped me with a good body shot and that's it. But again it's one one and, and one will get it back. Is that something that you want like not next? But I'm saying is that in your immediate plans that you want that third fight? It's not in the case of one, but it's what. It, like next or anything like that, but it's one one in it. Regardless of anything, regardless, he beat me last, but regardless of anything, it, that's it. One one, he's no better than me, and I, on paper he's no better than me, and I'm no better than him. So it, 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 I guess that needs to be a decider. I feel like I got the wrong, I wrote the wrong game plan. Me myself, not my, not my trainer, not not the, the coaches, not anything. I think I I went in there and I, I thought I felt something and I, and I did it wrong and that was it. So the plan for you now is to sort of have Christmas off and then sort of regroup and see what your options are for, for 2022. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't, I can't wait to fight again, but I'm enjoying this little little a little break. I, I, uh, in a minute I'll miss the I'll miss the gym already, but in a minute I'll be what I'll be raring to get in there so I'm gonna enjoy it and then I'm get back after Christmas. Well I'm gonna let you crack on with your day. When are you going home mate? Tomorrow maybe. Yeah I'm in that tomorrow maybe yeah. stage as well. <laughs> see anyway Lyndon, thank you very much to iFilm TV. Yeah, we look forward to seeing how this uh, combat chain develops over the next sort of few months and learning more about it. But yeah, we'll catch up with you again soon, mate.